G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going full send. We're going to put this tub together. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> There's a little bit of assembly to do, so we're going to do that. Um, I was busy yesterday, didn't film any of it, but let me show you what I've done. So in the previous episode, you would have seen me finish up this panel. Um, I'm ready to start putting filler on it. Yesterday, I filled in all my corners, put my pieces that go over the doors in. Um, so that's all done pretty happy the way that turned out and also recycled the old roof trusses from the mongrel and made them fit in the top of this they're made out of tassie oak and um, I also have a tarp that's what these um, studs are from which I'll use I'll shorten it so if it's raining I can close her up so at the moment it's just floppy four pieces but it came with all the bits and pieces to put it together all the struts and brackets and hinges and all kinds of things. Um, for a while there I was trying to work out what these were for. I had no idea. I, I honestly couldn't work it out and I'm pretty good at doing that kind of stuff. But I got on the internet and I found out where they go. I'll show you. So apparently they go on the back corner here. Like that. So there you go. Boom. But anyway, let's get the welder up from out the back and um, let's start tacking this thing together. So I think the best way to put this together is spot weld it. So I'm going to start on the back and throw these pieces in and um, we'll work our way around and the way I'm going to do it, old school way, is just drill holes and then weld through the holes but I'm thinking I might do it from behind. <laughs> Other side's all done, come up pretty good. So we'll do the front now and hopefully it'll give it some rigidity because it's still very floppy. I've put my strap on there, I've clamped it down just to give it the shape but I'm sure the original ones were probably a lot thicker than this because anyway let's secure the front. Alrighty so I've turned it around so I can work on it easier um, and I've stuck a screw in that side. I can't get clamps on this because of the way it's designed so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get perfect but we can do it um, just got to be a little bit more creative so we'll just leave that hanging off that screw for now and we'll start working on this side over here I'm going to put a couple of tacks in the bottom um, weld it up there and then we'll probably do um, some spot welds up the side up here and then over the top of that again, we'll have the brace that comes down like at the front.
that side's done. Doesn't look too bad. I'll tell you what, it's certainly stiffened the thing up. If you look at it from where you're going to be looking at it from, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to get on to the other side now. And once we've done that, we'll put the outer braces on these guys. done she's solid this end anyway so that's good um, I'll spin her around and we'll start looking at the tailgate So the hinge part of things is pretty easy. Um, they're the ones I got with this tub. So the top half of the hinge. I don't have a bottom half, but I stole these off one of the Daihatsu scats that I wrecked out. And they're the windscreen hinges and uh, they'll be perfect for this little tailgate. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna get attached to the back of the frame. I'm gonna lob the tops of these off and then weld that to that so then it's going to hinge so that's pretty straightforward but I can't do that because that's not at the right height um, the timber goes underneath the tray so I need to get my timber stick it in there then I'll have the right height then I can make it hinge which is you know what's that six bolts weld that on boom <laughs>
good's that? So now I've got the right height, I can organise my hinges. <laughs> There you go. A couple of things I've got to do, but I'm running out of light. I've probably got five minutes worth of light left, and probably another half an hour's worth of work. I just want to make some latches for this, just some basic ones. But she's hinged up and um, working. So I mean, nothing's bolted down yet, but it's in the right spot. I don't like how loose these are, but we'll manipulate that. I think once it's screwed down, it'll probably stiffen up a little bit. But. Yeah, I'm pretty happy how that's turned out. A coat of paint's going to make it look schmicko. Yeah. There you go, tweaked. Getting closer by the day on this, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's all happening. So anyway, stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.